Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for October, okay? So it could happen any time during October. We had two cards fall out right away. First one was March. So the month of March is prominent. I don't know if something happened in March that is coming back around at this time. You could also be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries. Um, but March is prominent. Owl. Good advice from a wise person. So you may be getting some good advice from a wise person. That says good advice from a wise person. That means somebody's giving you advice. Somebody that is very, very intuitive is going to be giving you advice. All right. That's too many. We have too many. Well, at least one more. There we go. One more. Broom. New home, a new attitude. So, some this could have to do with you moving into a new home or restructuring the current home you're in maybe you're cleaning it out or somebody's leaving the home or you're uh redoing it in some way but there's there, there could be a real move you know could be purchasing a new home or there's something to do with your home that is going to change your attitude so what do we have for Sagittarius? New home, new attitude. Cleaning up things as well. I think you're you're gonna be there's some sort of restructuring in your home. That's what I gotta say. Mmm. Just give them a chance. There's somebody that you need to give a chance. Just give them a chance. Ooh, phone call that changes everything, Sagittarius. Oh my God, I gotta show you what's on the bottom. Change in living situation. So something about your home, I knew that it was, I did, I did. So I don't know if you're moving, somebody's moving in with you or you're restructuring your home in some way. Something to do with the home. There's going to be a phone call that changes everything. And you're going to need to give somebody a chance. This card just fell off. i got to see what it is. Some of you, you may be dealing with a younger woman. I don't know. Fell off the deck. Ooh, could also be dealing with a Capricorn. We have the devil here. So this could be a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, be, but this is tempted. It's temptation. It's lust. It's greed. It's materialism. It's obsession. It's bad habits. It's addictions. It's uh, slavery. It is slavery. Okay, this is slave to some sort of addiction that you are going to be dealing with, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, okay? This is an addiction that is in control, okay? This addiction is in complete control. The devil is force, it's disaster, it's death, it's slavery, it's bondage, it's toxic, it's unhealthy behavior, it's self-indulgence. It's tied to a situation that needs to be broken free. So somebody needs to break the chains. They need to break free from something that they're tied to. And you are going to be dealing with it this month. I just named off all the things it could be, right? Could he be more? I obviously didn't name them all off. On the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a change. The wheel is spinning you in a new direction. This is the end of a cycle. It is positive change. It is good luck, okay? This is a fortunate change of events, okay? You're, but the, the devil is, is tied to a situation that is very, 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 very unhealthy. Very. And there is anger. It causes anger when you don't get what you want. So there could be like, I don't, for some of you, I want to see, I, I want to say like an angry outburst. I don't know why. Um, but... 
going in a new direction, a very positive new direction, the end of a cycle. And it has to do with some sort of obsession or addiction or something that was very unhealthy for you that is all coming to an end. Some sort of unhealthy situations coming to an end because that's a completion. Destined, destined change of course. This is the romance of a lifetime. So something about true love. I gotta show you what's on the bottom because I can't stop myself. Uh, reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. Now I know a lot of you are gonna say, I don't want a reconciliation with someone from my past. I'm not going back to the past. This could be a past life connection. Somebody you haven't even met yet. You need to open your mind. There is a true love connection here. Okay? Whether, you know, your soulmates can be your children. Your soulmates can be your parents. Your soulmates can be animals even. You know, there's many, there's multiples. We have multiple soulmates. Okay? Someone from your past is returning to your life. This is a true love connection. It definitely could be a lover. Somebody that, you know, maybe you have some strong bond with this. Obviously, you have a strong attraction to this person. There is a bond. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's definitely a bond. A strong one. Okay? And this could be somebody that you have a past life connection with that you may not even have met yet. But if you're closed-minded, that's your own problem. It's not mine. Anyhow, let's keep going. Oh, I just cut it to the devil and justice reversed. Oh, is it upright? It is upright. So, justice and the devil, both majors. Major decision. Okay, this is, this is everything turning out as it should. Uh, so there's something going in your favor. This is, uh, it looks like we have to make a decision in regards to a bond that you are going to be tempted to take. Okay, you're going to have to be honest with yourself. Be really, really, there could be news of legalities as well. The legal system could get involved. If somebody has some sort of addictions and they get out of hand, the legal system could get involved during this time. There's a fair and just decision somebody is making. Everything is turning out as it should. This is the laws of karma. Can't the laws of karma see straight through a situation? We have somebody here that is very toxic, very unhealthy. They are, I don't know, I feel like they're overindulging in some way. I don't know if the law is getting involved or karma is getting involved. Mm. A fair and just decision. This is a real line. Some of you are dealing with a Libra. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. This has to do with a contract. But this is toxic. There is some sort of toxic, unhealthy bond here, and you need to make a decision. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to be severely tempted, okay? You really are. Uh, you're going to have to make a decision. There's lust here. There's lust. There's... Uh, Strong desire, strong desire. Okay, your desires are going to be at a high level. It's going to be really hard to say no. I don't even know if you should say no at this point. But anyhow, um, strength reversed. Oh my God. So that's, uh, that's like unable to restrain yourself, out of control. Wonderful. That's the signifier card, strength reverse. That's unable to control yourself. 
It is. I mean, I can't make this shit up. That's lack of restraint. Okay, so... Uh, okay, let's get the rest of the cards. Somebody asked me the other day if I was using the Celtic cross spread or the Celtic cross spread. I don't care how you pronounce it. I really don't. No, I'm not. I'm using my own spread. I don't, I don't, I don't. I, you, sometimes I will, I will incorporate it in, but no. I don't like to copy people. It's not driving me absolutely crazy. Okay, so what do we got here? In your arena, okay. Um, in your arena, actually, we have the Two of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Sun card reversed. So it looks like you have, you have a lot to be proud of. You're vibrant. You're vibrating at a very high level. You may be blocking. You may be blocking somebody. You're blocking your emotions. You're blocking your fears. Um, we have the Two of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Sun card reversed. Okay, you're blocking. You're not blocking your fears. You're fearful. But then we go, that's holding back. The Two of Swords is holding back. You're holding something back that's blocking your emotions. Very fearful. But then we go to the Queen of Wands, which is fearless. Brave. Highly. I mean, you're vibrating and you're looking really, 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 really good. Okay? You're, you are. You're on fire. Okay? You're in a position of power. Um, I feel like you've blocked somebody or you've blocked your emotions or you've been held back by fear. The first card on your side is the two of swords. So you've been held back. You've been having to make a decision or you're going to have to make a decision because this is for October. It's like you're going to be put in a position where you have to make a big decision. That's clear. Okay? It's very clear. I feel like you're going to be in the spotlight. Okay? I feel like you're highly sought after. Okay? You're probably on fire. Okay? You're looking really hot. You're looking really good. Um, you have a lot to be proud of. I feel like you are very intuitive at this time. I feel like you may have a hard time opening up. Okay? Because I feel as we get the Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords. That's, a, that's like blocking something. You know, you're... you're you're feeling really good about yourself, but you're not really opening up, okay? Underneath the Queen of Wands is the um, Sun card reverse, so that's not happy. It could be loneliness due to disillusionment. It could be depressed, you know, in a dark place. Uh, not really happy at all. So I feel like you need to uh, think positive. This is a negative mindset, which is interesting. So you're going back and forth. You, On one hand, you're probably, one, it's like, one minute you're happy, the next minute you're sad. Next minute you're thinking, one minute you're very positive, the next minute you're thinking negative. That's why we have the two of swords. It's like we have two different things going on here. Um, there's some sort of unhappiness here with the sun card reverse. This is, I'm not sure if you're being honest with yourself. You're being overly optimistic with something. I feel like you're not really happy with, I think you're going to be put in a position where you have to make a choice. It's a painful, stressful decision. You're not going to be happy that you're being put in this position. That's what it is. This is not a good position to be in because you have to make a choice between two options, two avenues. You know, you have to choose. You have to choose. So yes, that's why you're not happy. This is a difficult decision. It's a painful, stressful decision. And, but in the middle is the strength card reverse, which is fear, okay? And lack of restraint, ego even. We all have ego, so don't get your panties in a bunch because I said it. Uh, strength card reverse. That's ego, egotistical. And I know you'd like to point the finger at somebody else, but this reading is for you. And I'm going to read their side in just a minute. So anyhow, I feel like you're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to be brave. Do not let anything go to your head. Yes, you're in a very good position. You're in a powerful position. You're vibrating very highly. You know, you're probably getting a lot of attention. You're going to be getting a lot of attention. Do not let it go to your head. Okay? Um... You're going to be put in a position where you have to make a choice. It may have to do with a living situation. Do you want to move? This may have to do with a move or a living situation. Um, strength card reverse. Unable to restrain yourself. There is some sort of fear here as well. Uh, lack of courage. Lack of confidence. Uh, but I can see that you're very confident generally. Generally, you know, generally you're very, very confident. You have a lot of optimism about you. You're very... 
uh, comfortable with who you are. But I feel like <laughs> I feel like you're gonna be put spontaneous. You know, when you get thrown something like this, and you are gonna be thrown something like this, you may be like, oh my god, I never saw this coming. I wasn't expecting it, and it can throw you off kilter. So I do think you're gonna be thrown off kilter. I do. I do think you are going to be. Um, Whoever you're dealing with, Five of Cups, Fool Reversed, Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with an Aries, could also be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is grieving. They're grieving. Maybe they've been rejected. They've been, uh, it does feel like it's rejected. This person is grieving. They're sad. They uh, have done something foolish. They may have missed an opportunity. They're going to be expressing their feelings towards you. They regret it. They regret uh not going in your direction this is somebody that made a foolish decision to i don't know if they they were focusing on a loss they were focusing on um oh, it feels like they were focusing on an emotionally draining situation i feel like whoever you're dealing with uh wants you to give them a chance they have they feel like they have missed an opportunity with you whoever they were dealing with has rejected them or they rejected them either way it could go they, they, they there's a rejection here over on their side uh they neglected to see you as an opportunity or they were blocking the opportunity they were they didn't see it but now they do now they see it they're going to be expressing their feelings towards you opening their heart and they may even say, I love you, you know, I love you, I want to help you. Somebody has missed something, you know, they have missed something, now they see it, now they see it. Um, they see it, so I don't know how that resonates. It's, it's like they missed the opportunity, now they see it. I think that you are unprepared. I feel like we have somebody here that made a poor judgment call. It's not you, it's the person we're talking about. They may have... Uh, I don't know, it feels like they were they were crying over a loss, you know, crying over the, the loss, that the previous relationship that they were in, which maybe it made them feel stupid. They may have made, felt stupid, you know, because they made a mistake. Somebody feels stupid, whoever you're dealing with. They're going to be expressing their feelings towards you. You know, they're going to be opening up towards you. I feel like this person has been... Uh, very cold or they've been we have the king of swords reversed the six of pentacles and the six of wands this is person was not following their heart they were blocking their heart i feel like uh There's been some sort of battle. There's been some sort of competition with the Six of Wands. I feel like the battle is over. The competition is over. This is a winner. This is somebody that is very noble, that is very, very strong, that has leadership skills, that is all done. They're all done playing games. They're all done fighting. They are finding their confidence and their inner strength to... Uh, go after what they deserve six of wands six of pentacles right next to each other this is somebody that's going to be giving you something they're going to be giving you an opportunity uh this is somebody that that can help you in some way but i feel like they've been uh, i don't know there's some sort of abuse here king of swords reverse there's abuse there is abuse. I feel like there's some sort of abuse. Maybe they're going to help. This is like a hero. Somebody may be breaking you free from some sort of abuse. Maybe you've been abused. We do have a protector here. The Six of Wands is a protector. This is a leader. Somebody that is a, is a born leader. Okay, a natural leader. And this guy has armor on, so it is a protector. This could be even somebody that is in law enforcement or in protective services or is a veteran. Maybe this person's been a veteran. There is somebody here that is in a position. It is a high-ranking position that is going to be giving you an opportunity to get out of some sort of abusive situation. I don't know who it is okay i feel like i feel like your abuser is a libra gemini aquarius i could be wrong could also be a pisces cancer scorpio i feel like whoever is coming to save the day is an aries leo sagittarius like yourself i just do um 
could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you are about to get an offer that you totally don't expect, which is going to lead you down a new path in a new direction. If you think about these sixes, sixes are taking the next step. It's on the path to recovery, okay, headed towards peace and harmony, you know, so you are headed in the right direction, you are. I feel like you are going to be surprised, I feel like you're going to be surprised, whoever you're dealing with may have missed an opportunity or they missed something, they missed something, they made a foolish mistake, you know, and now it's like a reevaluation, you know, and some of you could be dealing with a nurse or a doctor or a counselor or somebody that is very caring, very loving. Um, that can take really, really, really good care of you. Okay, there's somebody here that that is going, that wants to take care of you, that is going to take care of you. This person may see your big heart, or they they're just very attracted to you. Somebody is very attracted to you. Um, they may see that they, you need some sort of help because there's healing that is needed because the queen, the queen of wands with the sun card reversed, uh, the sun card reversed is a healing is needed. You Yes, you're in a very powerful position, but you also need to heal. I also feel like there's some lack of clarity here. You may not be seeing things clearly. You may be in the dark. Maybe you're in the dark about who this person is. You know, this person has been regretting with the five of cups. They've been regretting not taking action. Their heart has been feeling it with the queen of cups. They've been feeling it in their heart. Um, their intuition is telling them that... <sighs> they love you. Or that they, have, that they need to express their feelings. But before that is the page of wands reversed. This is fearful. So I feel like they're... And they got a lot of intuition. Whoever you're dealing with has big, big feelings for you. But they are scared. Fool reversed as well. Very, very scared. They're scared that you're going to reject them. They're scared that they're not good enough. Um, but this person is going to find their confidence or they're scared of you. Or, you know what I mean? Or something like that. This person is going to find the confidence to make an offer to you, whatever this offer is. Okay? This is somebody who wants... It feels like this person wants to help you. It feels like this is like a savior of some sort. This is some. This is somebody that is is coming to save you from some sort of abusive situation. I feel like you're going to be shocked. Hmm. <sighs> This could even be a new job for some of you with the Six of Pentacles. You're going to be receiving something that brings balance to your life. With the Justice and then the Sixes, this is going to bring balance. And there could even be an order. Okay, there could be an order. I don't know if it could be a court order. It could be. I feel like there is a man here, a masculine energy, who has not been able to... Uh, I don't know if this person has been abusive... You know, we get the King of Swords reverse is abuse. Okay, this is mental abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse, bully, you know, something like that. This person may be, um, I don't know, maybe this person is going to uh, get caught or they're going to jail or something like that. And it breaks you free from this battle that you've been fighting. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Um... <sighs> I feel like it's going to be very, 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 very emotional. You could receive some bad news with the Page of Wands reversed. Or the person that you're dealing with is receiving bad news. Because it's on their side. Whoever you're dealing with is getting bad news. It's extremely emotional. I don't know if this person is doing something stupid. Doing something spontaneous. You know, and... Uh, they have a fall. This could be a fall from power or a fall from grace or just a fall. You know, there's somebody here that is doing something really, 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 really stupid. And they're going to regret it. They Five of Cups is regret. You got the Five of Cups and the Fool Reverse. That is very stupid. There could be even a third party situation here. You know, there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We could have somebody here that, you know, does something spontaneous with the Five of Wands. They get caught and it just changes everything. 
Um, I do see sexual nature, highly sexual. We got somebody here that has no morals, has no conscience. They may be giving to somebody else. They get caught. There's a lot of there's a lot of admiration here. So <sighs> that's for somebody else. We got a very smug individual here that has a lot of admirers, and this person may be giving to them. Um, we have somebody here that is definitely not able to restrain themselves. They're not able to restrain themselves. And I don't know if it's you or the other person. There is going to be a phone call that changes everything that breaks you free from a toxic situation that you have been tied to. You have been tied to. Whether it's an addiction, it's a drug, it's alcohol, or it's a codependent partnership. Yes, sir. Yep. Um, I do feel like you're going to be very... Uh, you're going to be in the position. You're going to be in the top position. You're going to be the one making the decision. Okay, you're the you're the one that gets to decide what the next step is. You're going to need to take a time out by the looks of things. You're going to need to take time to think about everything that has happened. I also feel like you're going to be receiving some an offer of love from somebody or emotional support from somebody. Um, this person, uh, it feels like they're coming to help you, you know, um, whether you let them in or not is going to be up to you. You also have somebody here that is open. Well, that, I think I already said it. There is somebody here that is opening up their heart to you. This is what you've been waiting for. This is a hero. This is somebody that is noble, especially if you are a woman. I mean, if you're a man... You have a very attractive woman here, somebody that is very, very, very attractive. Maybe you haven't seen her yet because it looks like you've had a blindfold on. Somebody has had a blindfold on. Anyhow, if you're a woman watching this, you or a man, you have somebody here that is very noble. This is a fighter. This is a protector. This is somebody that will take care of you, that has a lot of confidence, that is all done playing games and is looking for reciprocation. This person is going to be opening their heart. And giving you a, a golden opportunity that le brings balance and peace and harmony into your life. You know, so this is going to be a big month. I know that it is. Justice, that's everything going in your favor. So there's something going in your favor. If there's news of legalities, then it's going to go in your favor. If you're going to court, it's going to go in your favor. Um... Whoever you're dealing with is, is dealing, they're going to be receiving some bad news. Oh, good luck. 